All right, so next up, I wanna talk about Painter's Send To functionality. So this is the ability for Substance Painter to send what it's working on directly to, to uh, other Adobe products. In order to get to it, you can either go to File and then Send To Here, or you can click this little box button with the upward facing arrow. They're both do the same thing. Now you can either export to Photoshop or you can send to Substance Stager. Let's start with Photoshop. What this does is this brings up a little dialog box that tells us, that asks us what exactly do we want to export? And in this particular case, we've got our um, upper shoe material. So I'm going to export our base color. Um, I've already done that, but I just want to show you here inside of Painter what it is that exactly that we're exporting. So this upper shoe area has a bunch of different um, colors and stitches and just a bunch of different layers in throughout it that create the final look for that piece. And once you export that, it'll actually export each one of those layers as a different Photoshop layer down here in the bottom right. So you can see that all of these are built up now and uh, you can add or subtract or manipulate them. And what it's gonna do is it's adjusting the base color the same way that it would inside the Substance Painter. So if you wanted to, if you'd rather adjust something in Photoshop, you have that option. Cause then you could do it here and export it back into Painter um, as, a, as a map that you import back into the scene. So easy peasy that way. The other option is, go ahead, turn these back on to export this over to Stager. So in order to do that, again, all I have to do is say send to Substance Stager. It'll just package up the model, all the materials, everything like that. And it'll send it over into Substance's rendering application, which is Substance 3D Stager. If you are unfamiliar with Stager, if you don't know how to use it or what it is, it's a super simple um, way of, of rendering out uh, some images, a turntable of your uh, 3D model. And uh, if you need to know more about it, I have an entire course uh, on this channel. So just uh, you know, check the rest of the YouTube channel and you can see a playlist for the intro to Substance 3D. So Substance Stager 3D. Okay, cool. So we've got this, now it's in here. I can turn on my ray tracer. I can build out a little scene in here. And it's just a really great way of um, creating my final render or taking my product and just kind of seeing what it's going to look like in final render. Um, even if this isn't your absolute um, final application, it, it really does give you a good idea of what it's going to look like out of Painter, um, even if it's just like a, a rough, rough ideation of it. So again, you can, um, you know, I can take a look at this, uh, take a look at the shoe. I can create a new camera. Uh, inside the camera, I can add a little depth of field. I can focus in on the, the product here. And then what I can do is I can also take this and create a turntable out of it. So I can click animation, uh, say I want it to spin around, and then I can activate this. And really what you would do is you, you render out a full um, image sequence of this. So it's a really quick way, again, to get an idea of what it is that you're working on, uh, create some quick renders, even, um, you know, take this plane. I like, this is a little trick that I like to do. And add some mission, and now you've got it sitting on this like lovely white ethereal plane. Uh, and it's ready for a catalog photograph. So um, yeah, just a, just a really quick way of either sending your information that you've created in Painter to Photoshop or send it directly in the stager for quick rendering and turntable work.